Joe, welcome to the show. How can I help you today? Oh, hi. Um, I'm a retired general manager, and I worked in the motor coach transportation business for over 30 years. You know, I recently I decided to go back to work part time just out of sheer boredness. You know, being bored, uh, retirement just it's not for me. Much yeah. has changed in the workplace, and you need to watch what you say today, I guess, um, because I took on this job, uh, part time job. And I was talking to my coworker uh, about truckers, cops, and prostitution. And I was overheard using the P word to another employee. And I got reported to HR. I got called in and accused of sexual harassment. Boy, was I taken back. I said, I'm a 70-year-old man. I'm not going to be harassing anybody at my age. I was told that someone overheard me using that P word, and I had no idea how to respond to that comment, and I was asked to resign my part-time job. My mm. final comment to that young HR person was, you know, you do understand, I was born in an era where harass was two words. HR has no sense of humor, and I yeah. was asked to leave. My question is, yeah. if someone overhears your conversation, can HR fire you on that basis? Well, I, that sounds like a legal question. I can't really comment on, you know, what legally HR can do or cannot do. When you signed on for the job and when they onboarded you, did they give you any kind of onboarding material, an employee handbook? Did they did they go over with you sort of what was appropriate, what wasn't, anything like that? No, absolutely not. Everything was just show up to work Monday morning and we'll go over your job requirements. And that was it. And so, and they didn't, and there was no warning. It was just like someone made a complaint about what you said and we have no tolerance for that. And that's it. That, that there was no warning or anything like that. That was it. Yeah. Basically correct. I would thought I would at least get a warning, but it was no warning. You're just gone. That sounds weird to me. I mean, that they, that they didn't like talk to you first about it. I mean, typically people, you know, HR should sit down and talk to you and let you know, Hey, that this wasn't appropriate. We're going to give you another chance. Um, and I don't know, give you some sort of training or something like that. But yeah, that sounds kind of weird that they just took that away. So are you looking to get back in the workforce again? Are you thinking you're going to you're going to try to go for another part-time job? Well, I am working. I did get another part-time I job. Did. I mean, that didn't stop me. I mean, I was just taken back because after, you know, I'm a 70-year-old man. Yeah. I've been working since I was 13 years old. Never experienced anything like that before. And yeah. I guess the question is, you know, is saying something like that in the workplace considered sexual harassment? I mean, it could be. It certainly could be. If it depends really? on the, it depends on the company's policy. So I think a good lesson here potentially is if you're nervous about saying the wrong thing, maybe it's a good thing to go to HR and say, "Hey, can you tell me what your rules are, what your regulations are, what the handbook says on different types of conversations, different types of words, that sort of thing." If you feel like you're you're not clear about it. Now, I mean, I will say in today's work environment, best thing to do is err on the side of safety, and you know, don't use curse words don't don't joke around too much with people that you don't know real well especially when other people can overhear that it's a different world for sure for sure it's a yeah. different world it's too bad i like the old world better yeah thanks so yeah. much i appreciate your comments okay well thanks joe i appreciate you coming on hey thanks for tuning into the peace building with dr pollock show don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more workplace conflict advice share on social media if you think your friends and colleagues would benefit from this episode and if you have a workplace conflict and want to be a caller on our show for free coaching and advice, please email podcast at pollockpeacebuilding.com. Thanks.